All right, so we got the setup already hooked up to the Pi as I clipped the, the power switch off of here, the power plug-in off of this Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, we've got everything in the case. Actually, I'm reprinting some cases right now um, because the uh, clearance on the actual screen, you can see right there, there's a black bezel there that I didn't account for. So I'm going to have to actually, I'm condensing the case down, which is good, so it's less wide. So I'm going to subtract the case by about five millimeters, which is really nice. So it should be a little narrower. Um, but yeah, everything's working fine. you got to plug everything in directly to the ports. So um, follow my wiring diagram from my original tutorials. I'll make sure that's included as part of this as well. But you want to make sure you write all this stuff down as you do it. Um, I'll also take a shot of this, but this is kind of how I uh, this is how I did this. So I lined up my numbers for where they were on the PCB, <clears throat> what they they associated to the actual button presses, then which GPO pin, ultimately which number of the pin it was, and then my color wire I was using. So that's how I got all hooked up. I've got everything prepped. It looks like everything just like before. It's all hooked up the same way that you will saw from the Adafruit tutorial or um, from my tutorials earlier on how to do the the, um, the audio piece. So everything's pretty well in place. Uh, probably gonna wait for this case to get done tonight and maybe throw it together tonight late. We'll see what happens. All right, one quick issue I had last night, trying to put this back together. Couldn't get the audio to work. It was being a, a pain. I don't know why it wasn't working. I checked all my pins, made sure everything was plugged in correctly. Um, Ultimately, what ended up happening was, is I forgot to cut the number, the GPIO, GPIO number 18 board. Just like the 2.2, there's a 3 point, on the 3.2, there is a, 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 like a little pin. You almost have to just scrape it off and disconnect it. So uh, that's underneath this Pi Zero, which is problematic. So what I did is I found out on the, um, the boards where it is, I actually scratched off here. Uh, once I got that done, the, the sound's working, so everything works uh, really well. It's kind of a mess of wires right now. I'm going to put it all back together. Everything's working fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to get back together, and um, everything should be working well. One quick thing to note, too. This is a 2,500 uh, milliamp hour battery versus the 2,000. Much larger, so that's why we got the amplifier sitting on top of the speaker right there. You'll have to probably put some tape underneath it just to kind of prevent that from grounding out. Um, really tight with this uh, pentometer. You might end up wanting to get like instead of the 16 uh, millimeter ones like I have, these little 16 millimeter pentometers, you might actually um, you might actually go with a 12 millimeter. Um, I'm looking for some sourcing some on Amazon right now to see if I can't get something just a smidge smaller. It fits in the hole, it just sticks out really far. Don't care for that. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, everything's working. Uh, everything should be fired up. You gotta ground this, but essentially uh, it's working. So let me show you quick. Oh. Pretty sweet.